Greetings, everyone. This is the card and technique, still in my embossing uh, series, that we are going to um, see how it's done today. Uh, don't forget that um, if you commented, liked, or shared last time, you are going to get a chance at the end of this video to win this card. So we'll come back to that later, but let's talk about this card right now. So this card, the highlight of it, as you can tell, is the flowered foils paper that is a celebration item and is actually free with a $50 purchase. So I wanted to show you how I colored this and I wanna show you how quick it is because we talked about this before, who wants, who the heck wants to watch someone else color? But let me show how, how quickly we can create this look. I'm gonna put that to the side. Here we go. Now what I am using is a sponge dauber and mine is mine are all identified by their color. Well, one's missing a color. And uh, I'm just gonna start, start in. So I'm coloring the leaves and um, I try, I'm try. i trying to stay in inside the lines, but if I go out, it's not critical. It's not the end of the world and I'm gonna show you why. So we've got the leaves done for one. Oh, in case you're wondering, I have a different robe on today. I do have more than one because I love my robes. And then we're gonna do our pumpkin pie flower and the best tip I can give you in regards to doing this is that you use a light hand. Um, you can always go back and make it darker, but it's you, you can't take the color off. So use a very light hand and then go over it as many times as you want. I think I'd like this a little darker, so I'm gonna quickly and a lot of times I just go in a circle to give it an even path. But what you can see, this, this paper is already embossed. And because of the embossing, this, these uh, copper rose goldish lines, the ink does not stick on those lines. And so you can do this and it, it just makes a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, way to make a card. Okay, we may come back to this, we'll see. So then, uh, this is the Rococo Rose. It's already done with one flower. This is a little deeper, so again, you want that light hand. And you can see where I started first, it's even deeper. So sometimes it's always, a, I shouldn't say sometimes, it is a good idea to dab your sponge on a piece of scrap paper first, just to make sure that it doesn't blob on you. So here we go. There's a little bit more flower here. Sometimes after you cut something, it's a little bit harder to tell what's what, but I think that's another flower. So we're gonna go ahead and color that in in the Rococo. All right, so our, our piece of paper's colored already. I might wanna go a little bit over here too. I think that's... Okay, so I have gone outside the lines and I think, oh goodness, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this is mint macaron paper and if you can see i don't like flat pieces of paper so i've, I've embossed that I'm, I'm all about the embossing with the layered leaves folder and um i'm going to dab my sponge dauber into mint macaron and i'm going to dip off and then lightly very lightly i'm going to go around this background just to pull in that color and maybe to hide a little of the little boo-boos i have you can tell this is, I'm not a perfectionist. I don't get too wound up about exactly it turning out exactly. I'm a random stamper and I like, uh, I, I don't worry about perfection. I always say made with love, not perfection, but you can see how that then adds, adds to the card. Okay, so that is as easy as that comes. It's hard to believe this paper is free, but it is. And so this is the card um, that's gonna go out in the mail uh, to someone after we I check out my likes and shares and, and comments. And I did wanna show you, I did use, um, this is a sneak peek of the Ornate Garden dies. And it is also, 
I used one of the dies for the inside just to make it just a little more special. And so the sentiment says, so grateful for all you do. Okay, now, because this paper is so special, I did do a four-card four class with it. And um, here are the cards that I did. And I wanna show you, you've already seen how I did this one. This one is, this is one of the pieces of paper. And this one has the healing hugs and it's just the paper and um, with a copper background. And I think it's gorgeous. This card, I'm gonna show you how I created this background. And then the same thing with this one, very quickly, because all none of this takes very long. So here we go with our uh, Knight of Navy. And for that, I, I'm gonna bring in my Knight of Navy stamp pad and I used a sponge. These sponges, oh, I don't know, they're about this big around and I cut them into smaller sizes. So here's how quickly we added dimension to that background. Again, a light hand going back and forth. Our inks dry pretty quickly, so you're not going to end up with a lot of stuff on your fingers. And then I think I want this a little darker, so I'm going to get a little more ink on it and I'm going to press a little darker so you can see how that worked. Okay, so now I am struggling to find the piece of paper. <sighs> okay, gotta stay. So that's that. You can make it darker you can go over it as many times as you want and that's the technique that was used on that now I have to find my uh, how I wanted to show you how I did this card and you're gonna have to just look at this card for a minute while I find my cut piece of paper Sorry, had to cut another one. This is the ombre look. And so I started with the lighter color, the, the, um, the Highland Heather. And again, I'm using the sponge on this and I'm gonna dab off just a bit. So I'm gonna go lightly. You do want some color. And then I'm gonna get a little darker even with this. I'm gonna press a little bit harder. See what happens when you um, don't dab off. We're gonna blend that in so that's not the end of the world. Okay, and we're gonna go a little darker. And then I'm gonna pull in my gorgeous grape stamp pad. And this is a darker color and so, oh, I did it again. Don't just do as I say, not as I do. And I'm gonna start, oh, well, when are you gonna learn, Bonnie? Okay, I'm trying to do this fast because I really don't want to bore you. Okay, so and you can keep playing with this for as long as you want, getting it just how you want it to look. But you can see, oh, I don't like some of this right here. I need to get that a little bit, I need to get this piece a little bit darker. Now don't fret and fuss about how many lines or how much they, especially in the middle, because um, you're probably gonna put a sentiment. And I love this ribbon. This is this is ombre ribbon too. And this is from the So Sentimental um, stamp set bundle, which is gorgeous. And I know there's a lot of purple lovers out there. So that's how that looks. And um, these are the four cards. Now, if by chance you would like to make these yourself i am offering to cut the card kits for you so if you contact me i will you can pick them up on my porch or i will mail them to you for an extra two dollars so let me know if these interest you I'd be happy to cut them for you you would have to do your own stamping this is the cutest stamp set because it's got the cup and it's a reversible it's also a free stamp set uh, all this is coming to an end on Tuesday. I, my shoulders just sagged. You didn't get to see that. So I'm kind of sad to see these papers and these stamp sets go. However, um, if you would like to make these, please let me know. Contact me. And uh, 
by instant message or private message and let me know if you're interested. So now it is time to find out who has won this card this week. This week. And I, again, my high tech way of doing things. I've got these in here and I'm gonna put my hand in and mix them up. And here is the winner. Oh, Christy, Christy McQuarrie. I'm, I do have your address, Christy, so look for this card in the mail. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.